Welcome to Factorio Masterclass. My name is Nilo. So this is the series of tutorials and guides here on YouTube that helps you become a better Factorio engineer. So uh, this is a bit of a quirky build that doesn't really fit into sort of the grand scheme of Masterclass design, but it's something that I felt might fit into uh, to your base as you are progressing from the jumpstart base and into a bigger base. Because what do we all want? robots we want robots to do our bidding to send on unreasonable quests everywhere so that we don't have to do any work at all and uh, the thing is with robots if we just look at it it um it's it's kind of annoying <laughs> to say the least they are hidden somewhere deep in the can i even remember where where the robots are, are hidden by now mm, no not really well, I can just logistic spots things. Oh, that one. There, robots. And that one. All right, so this is where we want it. I love this one. Why is there a little heart? Isn't that weird? Like, it's not a clock, it's a heart. Why am I blind? It's a ghost with a heart. Okay, well, don't we all love the love ghosts? Anyway, back to topic at hand. So, we want to make these, but, you know... Yeah, flying robot frames and flying robot frames takes batteries. We don't have those. We electric engines. Oh, what are we? Oh, electric engines. That's more lubricant. And then we have engines and we have oil and we have oil processing. And, you know, it is just absolutely horrendous. So what I want to offer to you is that as you have built your jumpstart base and you're just um, starting your research and you'll start working on your main base with however you build it, spaghetti or bus or whatever, but you really want to get, the next step is get some blue signs. I have already provided a tutorial on how to get blue signs. So what I want to do is get a tutorial, make a tutorial for you so that when you build the blue signs, you just stamp this blueprint down and you know, you just need to feed just basic stuff into this. And if you feed basic stuff into this, you know that it will um, it'll give you robots as soon as you unlock the tech. That I think is super convenient. So it is basically a little robot rush. So what is it we want? We want to make construction bots. I'm going to focus on construction bots, not logistics, logistics bots, because my experience is that the, what I really want is construction bots to remove forest, lay down solar panels, put down landfill, uh, upgrade belts from yellow to red. Those are the things I really want uh, robots to start doing for me. So that's why I want construction bots. I can go back and pick up some more belts if I need it for the time being. Or you can just uh, change it and put in some red circuits as well. So what does this take? This is on a, oh, one thing I should mention, this is not going to be built to scale at all. It's going to be built uh, at a, at a not scale because it's, it just doesn't make any sense, but there's, this is gonna be the one exception for things that I want to try to make at scale. I want to make two of these because they're on a 20 second cycle. And if I make this on a 20 second cycle, that means I only get one robot every 20 seconds and I just don't feel that's enough to really get us going. So I'm gonna make one every 10 seconds, but we have to remember the annoying crafting time. So it's gonna be one every 13 seconds. That's still pretty good. You're gonna go out and 10 minutes later, you will have, I don't know how many you will have. There we go. Uh, it's it's one every 10 seconds. So 0 .0 0 0.1 per second. And then that's the default craft speed, then we multiply by the crafting speed there. And then uh, we take, what is that per minute? That is 4.5 per minute. So just wait an hour, maybe, or just half an hour. There, 135, you got something. That's pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's just to uh, get you started on some robots. It's just the first ones that are amazing. Anyway, what are we gonna do? We are absolutely going to get things in here. And uh, what do we need? We need to make sure that we have the construction of of electric engines. So now things are already starting to become weird because, well, this is basically the structure. Now we need to say, okay, how do I... I'm basically going to go backwards and just figure out all the things we need. So this one will need batteries and electric engines. We're going to take engines, care of engines here, and then we'll take care of go, sort of going back on this production chain. And that will be, well, let's just, just build it here. Just randomly build it here. That's gonna be engines. Engines is on a 10 second cycle. This is on a 10 second cycle as well. 
Nope, it's going to be on a 10 second cycle if I remember to do it there. It's going to be on a 10 second cycle as well. And that goes in to feed two of these and then feed one of those. That's still very good. All right, so what do we have now? Now, this is the thing we need, but this requires green circuits. This requires green circuit. This requires green circuit. And this requires green circuit. We really should make some green circuits. And I know that probably in your base, you will have green circuits already made. But I'm just going to make it like really simple if you have green circuits already made you can skip this uh this step but i want to just uh basically say you get steel iron copper oil and water inbound those are pretty basics that's uh that's the input so let's uh continue working on some designs here i'm going to take that one in here and we're going to get well i think it's time for us to get some materials in i'm going to use this one this is part of the editor extended mod i guess editor editor extended or editor extension i am going to take a single belt because we really don't need about much here this is all about it, it's not about the throughput yeah, i was about to say it's all about the throughput but that's the whole point it has nothing to do with throughput this is just getting small things up by the way i've also cheated in the case that everything is now powered so that we don't get to see all the blinky blinking in and that's why i'm uh, i'm building it because that's super annoying yeah, so this is uh, going to have to go out. But if I take it out here, that I kind of want this one to be input. Input here. Mm, yeah, let's let's do that. So let's uh, let's find a way to get this one done. We are going to need pipes and gears. Those are the things we need for this part. And if I do something like this. And I take it from here. Let's see if that works. So this one goes on the outside, this goes on the inside, and this one's super happy. Perfect. So we'll just have to do a longer inserter to get it out on the outside. And let's put it there. So far, so good. That needs to go in here. But I also need to get some steel. This one also needs steel. And this one, so, you know, it would be nice if I could do this one, but that it was also steel. Ah, wouldn't that be good? So I'm going to take this down here and just go only steel on one side, on the inside, because the green ones are coming out on the other side. Well, this is pretty good because now I can get this inbound and also here. So let's see, this one should be getting some greens. It's going to fill this one up first. All right, you're going to get some greens. You should be getting some greens. You're getting steel, you're getting steel. You're not getting engines yet. Why are you not getting engines yet? You should be getting engines as soon as this one is done. Already starting to take shape. Come on, get it for me. Oh, it's already there. We just need the lubricant. Uh, but we also need something up here. So let's uh, just get this one in here. Boom. Yes. Hey, look at that. We're almost, uh, almost, it's almost working. Almost working. We've done all the easy stuff, right? We've done all the easy stuff. This is all the the solid materials. Now, all we need to do to get this working is we need to build some batteries and some lubricant. And batteries require sulfuric acid, which requires sulfur. And so that's... Uh, but it also batteries have the fun thing here that batteries also take both copper and iron. Oh, that's not what I want. That one. So it kind of is a good idea to do that. Oh, why? Okay, let's, oops. Did that work? And I'm just gonna take this out just for a bit. There, switch it back on. See, no one noticed. All right, I will take here, you will be making batteries yeah because that's gonna take these two things the only thing i then need is to make some sulfuric acid sulfuric acid also needs iron so it kind of has to be here what you will notice now is that i'm building this and it is completely uh it's completely waste because you might want to go yeah but i also want batteries for other things i don't want sulfuric acid yes but this is the whole point is that you stamp this down in the corner of your base you feed these basic things in you forget about it you come back and go like oh yeah i have 500 robots nice that's the essence of it uh that's exactly how it goes 
So this also needs some iron in here. So now it just needs some sulfur. Sulfur? Well, it can be made anywhere, can it? Yeah, it can be made anywhere. So we'll just make it like this because I need to get this over here. This is probably the easiest way to get this inbound from that side. And water is still also just weird, but we'll, uh, we'll sort the water at a later stage. But now we have sulfur into sulfuric acid into batteries. Now let's get the batteries up and running. And I would like to sort of just build it like this. It would be, oops, it'd be super nice if I could do that. But then I need reds and I'm not sure I have reds, am I? I'm not sure I should expect to have reds at this point. Uh, we could make, uh, we could just make this red, right? I mean, at this point you definitely have red belts. So I think it's fair enough to do this. There. They will go in. Battery and battery now taken care of. So all the inputs are now taken care of. Well, I mean, theoretically, if, as long as we have all the dots. But I can't use this one yet because this one has to be reserved. It has to be reserved for something out here. Yeah, well, <clears throat> maybe build it something like this and this will be lubricant. So lubricant goes in here. We're getting closer to sort of working our way backwards. Now, things are getting more complicated now because you will need the advanced oil processing. That's the only way you get heavy oil. So you're gonna have to do, use this. And for anyone asking about it, no, you cannot use coal liquefaction because that's much later tech. So at this point, what is not a complete coincidence is that I have water, water and water here. So that's, uh, that's already looking pretty decent. I'm gonna take the water here and that should be able to get from here and into some kind of, of build here. Something like this. The reason why I'm, I'm leaving this open is because I'm gonna need something up here as well. And I don't quite know where that's gonna be, but it's it, it might be up here. Whoops, don't wanna de remove that. All right, so now comes the big challenge. Uh, actually, you know, we are going to get these in immediately. I'm also just designing it so that they come in from the same side. You can get it in from wherever side you want, but it's just kind of nice to sort of have your inputs gathered on one side. I'm going to cheat some resources in here because, well, that is what we do. So uh, this is again the editor extension and we are getting some crude oil. Now you can see this one is working. We get some water in here. Everything is working except for the stuff that isn't working. And uh, let's fix the stuff that isn't working. Now, now the challenge here is next thing is this ratio is obviously never going to be correct because I'm going to produce a lot of light oil and I'm going to need to get rid of the light oil. I'm also going to need to get rid of some of the heavy oil because the consumption... I've done some calculations on the usage of petroleum for sulfuric acid for the batteries versus the lubricant, the heavy oil usage based on lubricant for this. And basically just by saying, what if I took all of the heavy oil and convert it into petroleum. Now it's converted into lubricant, take all the light oil, convert it into petroleum, and then have the petroleum converted into sulfuric acid. What would happen if I just let that run forever and ever and ever? The answer is I would be run I would have too much heavy oil. So that means we must be able to convert heavy oil to light oil and light oil to petroleum because this one is proportionally using slightly more than that one. It's a bit unfortunate that it is like that. If it was the other way around, it would be easier, I think. But, you know, we are not here to make things easy for ourselves. We're here to make things awesome. I don't know, efficient, effective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to make some kind of logic here. That one and that one. Oh, look, things are working. This is suddenly working. Of course, <clears throat> we're still going to have the issue there. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do some kind of circuit condition and say, you know what, this one, don't don't start pushing it out until you have at least, at least, uh, I mean, 500 is a lot for this one because it's it's going to fill up here first and fill up here. But we'll, we'll do this one. 
So at this point, we are going to see, ah, is there room for something here? It looks like there's room for something here. This one can take the heavy oil and convert it into light oil. Yeah, that's, um, that, that's something. That's something, right? It's a pretty miserable location to have it, but, uh, yeah, what can you do? What can you do? So what is it? We have the light oil here. And we have some light oil here. We're going to have to find those and move them together. So now we have at least the light oil merged in one location. And then we're going to get to get it somewhere else. Where would be a good place to get it? And uh, we have water coming up here. So that's probably a good place to make that one. Because that's right where the water is. Cool. It would also allow us to take this one directly in. So now the light oil can go in here. Together with some water, it's now processing. That's not bad. Uh, I do feel I'm missing one. Oh yeah, I'm missing water into this one. So let's do that. This one now also has water, but it doesn't have any heavy oil because it's still constrained. All the heavy oil goes in here and nothing really works until this one is done. So now I, all I have to do is merge these two together here and boom. That's it. It's that. It's that simple. Now, of course, we have uh, cheated with our with our power poles here. So I'm going to remove these bonus power poles and then we can see blinky blinky and uh, I will then fix the blinky blinkiness. And we're going to start by getting something from out here so we can at least get some power in. Where would be a reasonable location to make one? There. I'm going to, I mean, on one hand, I want to try to make it sort of symmetrical in some ways, but on the other hand, I just have to accept that it's not going to be symmetrical at all. Just This is now covered. Now let's see if we can cover all of that. That looks good. Then get up here. Yeah, I can't get both of those, so I kind of have to build something. And uh, this one's good, and that one's good. Now everything is powered, and we just need to throw in a few lights here and there. There and there, that's some good locations for lights. I'll take a light here, and then a light up there. Now we also have lights. Now what we need to do is just let this roll for a bit. We're seeing that this is working. Actually, I have a command we're gonna, we're gonna use here. Just run it and 10 times speed just so we can see that things are working. This is a, uh, here, oil comes in. It's not using particularly much oil, but generally we will also see that everything gets consumed. Here, this is the interesting thing. We'll see this now start backlogging into here, into this one, and only when that happens, when this one is full, you can see it slowly, slowly, slowly uh, increases, even when this, it's just slowly increasing. And this doesn't seem like much, but the fact that it's, increasing means that I have to deal with it. And you can see now it actually starts actually filling in here, which is awesome, 65. And only when it gets above 200 will it start pushing into this one. You can see over on the right hand side, it says, says product finished, zero. It's only when this one increases, you can see it slowly increases. Oh, then it just uh, went down a bit, but then it uh, fills up again. Over here, these, this, that one, that one the engines, electric engines and the two uh, what are they called? They're called uh, robot frames are all working. This is sort of the motor of it. This is the bottleneck. These are all worked at ratio. I am building slightly more batteries than needed to fill up this. You can see the belt is slightly going to be filling up. That's uh, totally okay. And we can see this one. Oh, look at that. Product finish 10. So it has executed a few times because it filled up to 200. You can also see again. We should be able to see it. This one should blink green. And then it will uh, it'll go. Come on. 65. 45. 70. 95. Boom. It's working. It worked a bit. And then it is struggling to get all of this out, which is just fine. It'll get out and convert it into petroleum. The petroleum will be stuck and just slowly being worked here. And it works. Everything works. This one this looks a bit bad, but it's actually not bad. Because as long as as long as I have this here, this one will always be in an idle state. Uh, or it'll not always be in the United States, but it will be able to produce way more. And the whole thing will self-correct. If, if I'm currently 
full on this and full on this, then as we consume, I'm not going to get more heavy oil into the network until I've consumed the other things. So that's fine. And this one will still have a bit to consume, so we're never going to run out here. As you can see, this little thing here, and what, just while I've been chatting away, you've got the first um, 80. Let's call it 80. 80 robots ready to go. And that's a pretty cool thing. So what we have here, I'm just going to speed it, slow it down a bit. There. We now have, and I've built all of it with yellow belts, but that's it. So put in steel, you have that already. Put in the iron and copper, you have that already. You have these things already built in your jumpstart base, for example. So you can take your jumpstart base and just convert it into this or add it into this. You can feed greens in on the other side if you want to. I just decided, you know, for the sake of completeness, build it here. And then when you water, you always have that. And then as soon as you get the oil processing, you basically pipe it in here because the first thing you want to use oil for is this part. And then you're building a blue science and you're slowly unlocking these researches in time, the advanced oil processing, the lubrication, the electric engine, the robot frames, the, the robots, and then you build this as it goes and you're done. Now, you, and then you can go back to your normal base and do whatever you, you want as you continue to scale up without worrying that you have to build a full scale sulfur, full scale sulfuric acid, full scale batteries, full scale electric engines, full scale robot frames, just to get your first two robots that you need. And that's kind of one of the things that I always end up doing is that I want to build everything at full scale and it just takes way more hours than it needs to. So future, just build this one and then you will have your robots pretty, pretty easy. So I hope you liked it. I hope that was a, a interesting, quirky little uh, change of pace for a masterclass. Maybe this is something you find is completely unusable for you or maybe it's something you go like this is neat i'm gonna put it into my base because that'll make the transition from my jumpstart base to a sort of real bot base where or real bus base with bot support much more easy if you liked it you know what to do hit the like button if you for some reason haven't subscribed to the channel yet but you're watching these videos regularly well consider subscribing then you might uh, have more chance of catching the next one coming in um, and of course, if you want to support the channel and the work I do here, then there is a link to Patreon in the description below and also sometime during this video. And uh, I really appreciate all the support from uh, patrons who are supporting the channel. So thank you very much. I will see you guys either here on YouTube or on Twitch or maybe on Discord. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay effective.